Hello, hello again, my beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Energy is fluid. Feel free to slip it, slip it, <laughs> switch it, flip it, put yourself where you go in it. Um. Also, if I'm saying he or she, I'm speaking of masculine and feminine energy, unless otherwise stated. Okay, so cards is falling out. We might be about to talk about your official person here. Um, going to see what message and their child, so, so your official person may be going through some, some things with their child right now, um, or with some children. Also, there could be a new beginning starting with you and the official person here. The, the official person fell back out again. Um, we're just going to see what spirit has for us and what messages we can get. I don't have any particular question right now. Just what, what spirit wants us to know. We'll see what spirit wants us to know right now. I guess about this official person and this child, okay? So, um, let's get into it, you guys, okay? What's going on here for the collective spirit? What do they need to know for their greatest and highest good? What messages do they need to know for their greatest and highest good? For the collective... All my subscribers and all the viewers that are going to watch this video. What do they need to know? For the greatest and highest good. One last show for you guys. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's get into it. Okay, Spirit. What do they need to know for the greatest and highest good? What do they need to know for the greatest and highest good? What do they need to know? Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have expectations. So you guys could possibly be having some type of expectations here. Um, could be expecting something from your official person. You could just be expecting something as far as um, something that you have been working on. Something that you have... Been putting a lot of effort into waiting for it to um, manifest into something big here or to come to fruition. Huh, you could be waiting on <laughs> this lover here, okay? And it's been hard work. You do feel like there is great fortune with this person here. This could be a job here too, something that you love, okay? An occupation that you love, um, a business that you've been working on, something that you've put a lot of hard work and labor into. And, and, it's going to bring great fortune here, okay? So whether this is love or whether this is your finances, career here, um, there is great fortune and an unexpected income coming in here. Spirit is saying expect this, okay? I feel like you have manifested this new beginning here. Um, and I do feel like you've done the work. You, you've put in the work here that needed to be done to bring this forth here. Okay, Spirit, so let's get some cards to clarify this. So this is the um the the Lima tarot. Thelma, the Lima, I don't know. Thelma. Ah, it's T H E L E M A. The Lima. Okay. One last shuffle. Okay, guys, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's get into this. What's this toil and labor here? Our divine feminists could be waiting, okay? They're waiting on this Ace of Cups here. You guys have put a lot of work in here, and you're waiting on this love offer to come in, right? <laughs> and with, this, with the Son here, I feel like this is a divine blessed love that's coming in here, but I do feel like you have put a lot of work a lot of with this toil and labor toil and labor is about hard work okay so even if this is not about an actual person this is about a job or something this is about um there being an overflow and a blessing for god from god here for whatever this is whatever endeavor this is whether it's love or finances career here okay whether this has to do with your business huh no, Spirit keeps saying, nope, stop trying to go to the business. It's the emperor, okay? This is your divine partner here. Look, here you go at the bottom of the deck. So they're like, no, no, Hantes. This reading is about me. <laughs> 
I was trying to make it be about money, y'all. I mean, I do see your money coming in, good money coming in, okay? Great fortune, unexpected income, yes, okay? Money's going to, to look up. Work is going to be better. Things are going to come in and pick up. But uh, your emperor here, he said, no, 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 divine fam. Mm -hmm. We're going to have this conversation here, okay? I know you're sitting there waiting on me to come through, okay? I know you, you're expecting this offer of love and I know that this is a divine union here. And I know you've been putting in the work. And I know you've been waiting here. Let's see what else he want to talk about. Because he feels this is a blessed union. He does want to come and offer this love. He knows that you're expecting and waiting on him to show up. What's this lovers here? What's going on, divine friend? <laughs> you're stressed out. Stressed out over this situation. You're probably tired of putting in the work, tired of waiting, tired of waiting on this 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 cup of love to come in here. Even though you know it's a divine union, you just, you just, <laughs> you're tired of waiting or you're tired of expecting. Or your person wants to come in and make this offer here of love and they don't know how. They're stressed out. Put yourself where you go in the story. Either you're tired of waiting on your person, you're tired of waiting on these offers to come in, or, and you're stressed out, or your person is stressed out about coming in to make this offer, and they know this is a divine union, but they're all still in their feelings, all in their head, back and forth about coming in and making this offer of love here. Give me one more for the lovers and the five of swords here. I mean, nine of swords, my bad. Yeah, three of pentacles. So this person is, is, like I said, okay, so the emperor knows that you're expecting him, okay? Your divine master knows that you're expecting him. Your divine master knows that you're waiting on him. He probably told you that he was on his way and he was coming, okay? And he was coming with this cup of love, this divine cup of love, right? But he's stressed out, okay? He's all in his head now about this teamwork. Can he do it? You know, is this really what he wants? He's stressed out about coming to make this offer for this team. Where this person could, um, your divine master could be coming to, to propose or, um, offer you this commitment. But he's still stressed out about whether or not he really wants to be in this team, whether or not this team is going to bring him great fortune. He's stressed out whether or not this is a blessing truly from God. If you are his, his, his true soulmate here. So I feel like he's second guessing here. He, so he's in his head going back and forth and, and he's second guessing whether or not this is truly a divine connection sent from God. Okay. If this is truly a love sent from God here. Okay. What's this great fortune here? What's the great fortune spirit? Thank you. Yeah. He's unsure if he wants to end this. Or if he wants to move forward here. He could possibly be afraid that you want to end this here as well. You could be tired of and stressed out over this relationship and you want to end it. And you want to start somewhere else or something new here. You both could be stressed out about this situation, about this commitment here, okay? About coming together within this teamwork here. About whether or not this is a divine union um, or a blessing love from God here, okay? Give me one more for the death and the great fortune. Yeah, the four pinnacles. So somebody been holding back. And that's possibly why it, there's going to be an ending here. So, um, divine feminine, like I said, this could be you. You you've been expecting and waiting on your divine master to come and offer you this cup of love that you know is sent from God, that you know is a blessing. And he's not moving. He's not doing what he's supposed to do. So you're stressed out. You can't sleep. You're second guessing whether or not you want to be in this relationship. If you want to, um, even continue to put the work in. It's been stressful. It's been hard up to this point. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, you're ready to end it and remove. Uh, not necessarily remove, but. Pull back your energy. Pull back your love from this and move forward somewhere else here. What's this unexpected income? I don't think Divine Master is going to be expecting it. That's what's going to be the unexpected income. But I feel like Divine Film, you're getting the strength here. You're getting the strength to actually end it. 
or your divine masculine is getting the strength finally to to let go of this holding back energy to let go of this fear to let go of this stress and actually come forth here and offer this ace of cups and actually put the actions and efforts in here like i said put yourself in, in your story so some of you guys are ended in and walking away, okay? Some of you guys, Divine Masculines, is getting it together. They're getting it stripped and they're coming back. They're manifesting this new beginning with you, okay? And others of you are manifesting a new beginning somewhere else. And you're getting the strength to walk away here, okay? And then the magician to manif manifest, okay? Give me one more spirit. Thank you. Yep. Eight of Cups, walking away. Like I said, can't make it up. And this is going to cause a tower here with Divine Masculine because he's not expecting it. He's not expecting you to walk away. But you're guarded and you, you've had enough here. Too many secrets, too many things not being seen, too many things not being said. Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords here. An immature offer. Somebody was still lying, being deceitful. Okay? The offer that Divine Masculine made was a lie. You felt it was immature. He didn't step up. He made an offer, but he didn't step up with the offer here. He's still lying, cheating, being deceptive here, manipulative. Five of Pentacles. So you withdrew your you're withdrawing here. You're heartbroken. And you're calling for justice. You're calling for justice because you want something that's going to be equal and give and take. You want your emperor here. You want your long term committed relationship with somebody who's not going to juggle you. And you're speaking your truth. And, and I feel like you're walking away. You don't want to reconcile this. You're going to go find your soulmate. Or you're going to call in, manifest your your divine partner here, okay? And you're going to move forward and have a whole new world. And divine master is going to be sitting back. And he's going to be regretful that he didn't come forward. That he took too long. Yeah, to offer you this passionate new beginning. Now, for some of you, Divine Masculine is on their way, okay? They're getting the strength up to come towards you, okay, to offer you this brand new world. They're no longer juggling. They're coming to, to reconcile here with you. They're coming to offer you this um, Four of Wands long-term committed relationship here, okay? Some of them have grown up, and they want to have an equal give and take. Now, now they want to come and bring justice. They know that they broke your heart in the past. They, <laughs> you left them out in the cold, okay? And that gave them a wake-up call for some, okay? And they possibly could have been lying and cheating in the past, and that's why you left them out in the cold. And now, now they're coming back as the emperor, and they want to have a balanced, equal, give-and-take relationship here with you. They want to come and speak their truth. They want to reconcile here. They want a whole new world, no longer juggling because you cut them off, because you caused this tower moment, because things weren't balanced. Find your story, peoples. So we're going to leave that here until next time. Oh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Follow your intuition. Listen to your heart. Okay? For those of you guys that are walking away, Divine Films, and you're moving towards something better, congrats for finding the strength, knowing your worth, okay? And, and... Putting up them boundaries, okay? And saying, you know, if you're not going to give me what I deserve, then I'm going to move forward and manifest what I deserve. For those of you who are, whose divine masculine has grew up and is coming back, make sure you continue to put that self-love into yourself so the universe can continue to give you the type of love that you deserve. So um, don't get so caught up in the divine masculine that you forget about you, okay, divine fam? And we'll leave it there until next time. Love, light, and peace, my peace. Mwah, mwah, mwah.